Alright YouTube, so for those of you that don't know, recently Bethesda had some sort of an event on their Twitch where Ninja, the rapper Logic, and Rick and Morty, yes you heard me right, all played Fallout 76 together and apparently it was pretty damn bad. Now I wasn't ever planning on even talking about this on my YouTube channel until I heard about how bad it went and I think it's kind of funny because for starters I just absolutely despise celebrity endorsement bullshit when it comes to stuff, especially video games. I, I don't care. Like Ninja plays Fallout 76, you almost made me want to cancel my damn pre-order. I don't care about Ninja. And regardless of how you feel about Ninja, Logic, Rick and Morty, whether you like all of them, hate all of them, whatever, and whether or not you even care about the celebrity endorsement stuff, the point of this is to help boost sales. They weren't just trying to put on a fun event for the fans. You don't get Ninja involved with your game unless you're trying to boost the sales of that game. That's just a fact. And you get Logic of all people. Not knocking the guy. He's got some good songs. I enjoy some of his music. Logic is not just like this well-known gamer or anything like that. And then Rick and Morty of all things, like get the voice actor to do both Rick and Morty's voices over the stream the entire time. Like, it's just a weird scenario. And that was part of the issue here is that these three guys don't click. They don't coincide. They're not, they don't have good chemistry with each other. And that was the main issue here. There's a lot of awkward silences during the stream. And I'll be completely transparent, I'm not a Rick and Morty fan at all, it's not really relevant, but I've tried to watch it, could not get into it. But credit to Justin Roiland, who's voicing Rick and Morty during the stream, I guess he voiced it on the show obviously too. Like he tried, when there's awkward silences, he tried to fill it in with jokes and to be entertaining. Credit to him man, he tried. The other two, Logic and Ninja, like it was almost like they were nervous or scared or something. Now some of his jokes did fall flat, like he'd bust a joke and like Ninja and Logic wouldn't even respond. They wouldn't even acknowledge his existence, which is kind of crazy. And it, it kind of showcases why you don't do these type of things. And look, all three of them are entertainers in their own way, but what Ninja does, you know, live streaming video games to an audience of people who like video games, is very different from, you know, Logic doing a concert or the voice actor <laughs> recording lines. I don't even know if he does like maybe stand-up comedy. I don't know what this guy does. But there's a drastic difference between what they do. And I'm not trying to say that live streaming video games is necessarily hard or anything like that. But it's just a different kind of thing. And it shows, like, I don't know if these guys play video games in their free time. For one, they had to teach Logic how to play the game. Like, he literally didn't even know how to cure his rats. That's how, like, last minute of a celebrity he was to get to do this. Like, he didn't even care to research Fallout at all. He didn't even know how to get rid of his own radiation. Which is kind of embarrassing on both his part and Bethesda's. Not to mention the stream was also 20 minutes late, which is pretty ridiculous, especially when you're trying to get people hyped up for this game, have all these celebrities play in the game, and then you're late to your own damn stream, which is, they're probably busy guys, but the point is, the stream was 20 minutes late. And then once the stream started, there were some syncing issues for a little while. So, like, what they were saying was ahead of what was actually being shown to the audience. So if they were talking about fighting some certain enemy, that had not happened yet. People weren't watching that part yet. And then at one point during the stream, there was an overlay issue, which I'll put on screen for you guys so you actually see what I'm talking about, that was on screen for like 10 minutes or more. I don't even know how that happens for that long without being resolved. And then you had a small but still embarrassing thing. The voice actor for Rick and Morty was trying to show off the vats, obviously a key feature of this game, and he's hitting the button and it literally wasn't working. And then at about two hours into the stream, we see a buggy Super Mutant that we're all kind of used to because we've been playing the beta, but this is being shown off to these three celebrity type guys and the audiences that they are bringing in, so this looks bad for the game. And then I know at one point Ninja's game actually crashed during the stream, and he had to completely restart and load back into the game, which is very embarrassing for Bethesda, Fallout 76, and Xbox, who's being advertised at the bottom of the stream the entire time. And then of course throughout the stream there was the technical issues that we're all already used to at this point with the frame drops, the freezing, the bad AI, the, the super mutant that I showed you for example. You know, all, all the things that we're used to when playing the beta was prevalent throughout their stream as well. And then on top of that, throughout the entirety of the stream you have the lovely Twitch chat. You know they're not going to be assholes at all. The whole time the Twitch chat was bashing this entire situation, both the game and and the overall stream itself with how awkward it was between the people that were involved and like the technical issues near the beginning and just everything about this just was bad. Like from the ground up, every aspect of this event was terrible except for maybe a couple jokes that Justin Roiland made. Like some people did seem to find some of the shit he was saying, some of the banter he did amongst himself with the Rick and Morty characters was funny, uh, but regardless, everything else was terrible. And it just kind of shows how out of touch Bethesda is right now because they thought that, hey, let's get these three things that are popular with the kids together. Kids sure do love that logic, that ninja, and that Rick and Morty. Get them together to play Fallout 76 and it's going to go over great, but not realizing that these guys didn't have any chemistry amongst each other at all. They're probably none of them, I don't even know if they've ever even met each other. 
And then you have the issues with the live stream itself, you know, it's starting like 20 minutes late, the syncing issues they had for a while, the damn picture overlay that was over the stream for like 10 plus minutes, which I don't even, again, don't even understand how that even happens. And on top of it all, we all know this, the game is still in a bad state. You know that the game is performing bad right now, that's the point of why we're still in the beta. We're not even to the launch of the game yet, and they're having these popular people showcase the game during a live stream to an audience of like 30,000 or more, I think they peaked at like 32,000. They're showing off this game, Fallout 76, that we all know is bad right now, bro, with the, the crashes and the freezing and skipping around and bad AI and all this stuff. Like, why would you show this off? Why would you do this right now? You know these things are, are still persistent in the game. Like, that's the one that escapes me the most. I don't understand that. Put aside the people that are involved with the actual event that I don't really care for, Ninja, Rick and Morty, stuff like that, Logic, whatever. Like, you know that the game is going to perform badly in front of all these people. Why are you doing this event? What the hell was going through Bethesda's head? And like I said, I found this funny, because Bethesda's out here worried about marketing the game. Let's get these three famous people to play the game and it'll help boost sales, instead of just focusing on fixing the damn game. Fix the game. Worry about your core audience. Quit trying to market to people that are outside of the Fallout and Bethesda community. Just market to your core audience and make the game good. That's all that matters, man. Because it's completely irrelevant how many more cells these three guys can bring to Fallout 76. If the game is performing like it is right now, too long after release, the game is going to die. It's always going to have its player base. There's always going to be those people who just don't care and they'll just play the game forever, essentially. But if the game is still performing like this a couple months after release, a lot of the core, like, big group of people that are playing the game are going to go away. Because they just don't want to deal with the bullshit. People have already left. People you know, canceled the pre-order, stopped playing the game during the beta. People that were watching this live stream event because of how badly the game was performing were in the Twitch chat saying they're canceling their pre-orders. It's already happened before the game's even come out. And you guys out there that are subscribed to my channel, you know I like this game. I'm excited for this game. I don't want it to fail. I want the game to succeed. I've always looked forward to a multiplayer Fallout. I want it to be a good game. But it's going to launch in the state. That's 100%. It's going to be like this on the launch. Will they be able to fix it within the next few months? I don't know for sure. And what I hope is with this event, regardless of how big or small, I hope this gave Bethesda some sort of dose of reality. You can't just throw money at a game, market a game as much as you want, and hope it does well, because this had to be more detrimental than it was helpful. And just so we're clear, guys, this isn't me attacking Bethesda for this one situation. You go back on my channel a couple months, I made a video complaining about them partnering with UFC and Robert Whitaker for pretty much the same reason. I don't like celebrity endorsement shit. I'm not going to buy your product because enter celebrity name here is using this product. Anyways, guys, I just want to talk about this. I found it kind of funny. I know some people out there were excited to watch this event, which is fine. You're allowed to be a fan of whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you otherwise. But clearly, Bethesda wasn't even prepared to hold this event, given all the technical issues surrounding it. And then, like I said earlier, the game has a ton of problems still. So why would you hold this event anyway? You know it's going to be a dumpster fire before it even begins. Either way, guys, that's the video. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David. At my Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Oh, There's booby no. traps. Why are you, Morty? Why are you saying traps? Oh, weird. Traps. <laughs> you sound like was cats in. Yeah, you got oh, an accident yeah, all yeah. of a sudden, Morty. Oh my no, God. I, I, I picked that up because I've been watching a lot of um, this one show with people from Wisconsin on it. I'm gonna die here.